Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is Prison Architect, my how-to Prison Architect series, uh, part 6. This time we're going to talk about security, and as you can see here, Pity is fighting my guard, so it's about time we started talking about that. As I lay down the beat down, yep, and now he's unconscious. That could have turned into a riot, which uh, would have been a problem. And the whole reason why they're getting so anxious is because they don't have any proper beds uh, or privacy. Uh, so they're having to share eight beds between 24 prisoners. Now, I can ease that pressure a little by throwing some more beds into the holding cell, but that's not really the proper solution to the thing. The proper solution would be to build some freaking cells, but I don't feel like doing that. But at least this way, there'll be less of them going crazy. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, now what we're going to have to do is get into security. So that's that's the theme of today's episode, and mm, uh, I want to make sure things are under control. So let's get into grants. Now you can see we're already doing two grants, and I can accept only three grants. So I'm going to grab my security procedure certification. Now, that means we're going to need to hire a security chief, hire 10 guards, unlock patrols, and get 3 guards on patrol routes. That's fine. We've already done most of that. Oh, our fight. Pity. Seriously, we just knocked you unconscious. Damage the, the serving table. See, this is what happens when they start getting really uppity. So, let's start solving that problem. Okay, so, as you can see here, uh, we need to hire a security chief. We did that in the last episode. We have him sitting in office up over here. We need to hire ten guards. Uh, we currently have six guards. So, one, two, three, four. Brings us to ten. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Well, we go to bureaucracy and we tell it, hey, I want patrols. And then uh, assign three guards to patrol routes. So once he's done that, we're going to assign some guards to patrol routes, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, <clears throat> my other programs probably aren't going to complete in time, so we're going to have to just deal with this as we go along. But... Um, uh, a tip for helping to deal with the license plate issue is to remove the exports. Uh, that way, things aren't moved immediately to exports. They are, in fact, they wait around to be sold. So, if I remove that room, the license plates will build up when they start manufacturing them. Look, it's being attacked by a fork. Sleep. I haven't slept in ages. Well, you could sleep right now if you were a smart, uh, smart idiot. You'd be able to get into the bed during your free time. But no. Instead, you're fighting. Could have gone to bed during free time. Because it's before bedtime anyway. Could have snagged one of those super sweet beds. Uh oh, they killed a janitor. That's an incident. That's serious. Who killed the janitor, man? Who killed the janitor? Was it you, Platter? Tax staff, possibly. How about you, Stubbs? Escape attempt and attack staff. Hmm. Somebody killed the janitor. Well, one of the janitors. That's not cool. Right. So, again, this is what we need patrols for. <clears throat> this is what we need to, to, get, to really get on their butts about. They expect prison to be a happy fun time? No, prison is not a happy fun time. 
we're going to get tough. Alright, let's turn up the speed a bit. There we go. Prisoners will eventually be escorted to the infirmary for medical healing, but uh, they do tend to wait around for their punishments first. And as you can see, we have quite a few waiting for solitary, and I don't have extra solitaries. Um, although one solitary cell is sitting vacant, I, I don't know. Mm. Unfortunately, it is still an alpha game, and sometimes things don't work necessarily the way you want them to. Since you committed murder, guys, I'm searching everything. Right, the patrol unlocked, so we need to assign some guards to patrol, so go to deployment. Now, what you do is you select guard patrol, and then you just kind of sketch out a path of travel. So like, um, let's say I want a guard just kind of patrolling, like, you know, through the shower into the holding cell, up through the middle of the holding cell, past the bench, out through the door, and into the yard, right? And I can do that. That can be one route. I can have another one who goes into the workshop and checks out this cleaning room over here. And then goes over this way to the laundry. Checks that out. And maybe he drops in on the classrooms as well. Right? And then I could have a third route where I go from the infirmary through the canteen. And then back over here to the common, common room. Like that. Now, how do I assign the guards to it? Well, what we do is we go, hey, guards. Guard patrol. And we just like, okay, one there. One there. One there. It doesn't have to be on the ends. It's just what I'm doing. And you can assign more than one guard to a patrol route. But now three guards will have the job of basically following those patrol routes. And they will allow us to see what we need to see as they walk around. So that's good. <clears throat> but wait, there's more. Uh, we can move up to governmental security. <clears throat> assign two dog handlers uh, to a dog patrol. Assign two armed guards to a patrol. So we're going to need to move up our tech for that. So we go back to bureaucracy and we go, hey, I want dog patrols and I'm going to want an armory. Someone who's been locked down so long has basically pissed themselves. That's what this is here. Or he's crapped himself here. But maybe he shouldn't have been involved in the fight. Maybe he should have thought of that. So, again, we'll put the sign back on high speed here. And I'm thinking since people are getting a bit uppity, I'm going to build, uh, build a small extension here where I just basically expand our operation for our cells slightly. And 
again, you just like go, hey, I want a solitary. You just like drop that in there. Solitary, bam, it's a solitary cell. And Tyson has to sit on this bench in lockdown just staring at the people sleeping. Particularly particularly uh, Astroglide here, Fauble. So, yeah. Now, for the dogs, right, we're going to need a room to put the dogs into. Uh, they're going to need basically a small operational space. So, I'm thinking I'm going to put go with over here. Because we need a kennel. We're also going to need an armory, which is an armor building I'm going to have to I'm going to have to supply. But first off is going to be the kennel. So now I forget whether a kennel has to be indoors or not. But I think it just has to be enclosed. So I think this area here will do just fine for my kennel. Now grading is still not available because I haven't had enough prisoners released yet. In fact, I'm pretty sure I haven't had any prisoners released from my prison so far. Right, there's my kennel, so let's stop time and go to rooms. So, kennel. It has to be enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors, and I need dog crate. It has to be 5x5. Five five. So that's my size. And I can make that enclosed very easily by throwing a fence around it. In fact, we'll make it all slightly larger just to make it kind of fit into the space properly. There we are. And that's going to be a wall there, so we'll wipe that out. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to need a door for it, so I'm going to stick a staff door right here. Because it's for the guards anyway. And then object-wise, I'm going to need a dog crate. And I'm always wondering which way the dog crates face. Um, <laughs> you can see they're not easy to distinguish, but I'm going to try doing it that way. And I'm going to need at least two dog crates for two dog handlers. So, point of advice, with dogs it's often good to have more than enough dogs because you don't want the dogs being worn out otherwise they just like basically aren't on patrol all the time. They spend time off patrol resting. think that's the right way? I have no idea. So, I have my two dog kennels. So, we can go here to staff and then hire dog handlers. There we go. As you can see, it's a guard and a dog. They're very effective. Um, Deployment-wise, dog patrols, as you can see here, just use the same patrol routes. All I'm doing is assigning guards onto patrol routes where I want uh, the dog handlers to be. So, uh, if I want a dog handler, let's say, wandering around on this patrol here, I can just stick him anywhere on that route, like so. And if I want a special patrol for a dog handler, and I can totally do that. I could like have one, say like here. Now, see, you can't if you if you have these touch, they merge. So if you want to have a patrol that is just a, a specific thing, you need to have essentially uh, an independent line. Gavin Wander.
wandered past the solitaries. <laughs> right, so I'll stick a dog patrol there as well. Right, so now I have two dog handlers assigned to dog patrols. Now we need armed guards. Now we're going to need to get the armory up and going. The armory has to be inside but I happen to have a convenient space for that. So I'm going to go and just make sure it has a bit of wall there. And again, I'm gonna use a staff door, although sometimes I use a solitary door because honestly, if prisoners riot and manage to break into the armory, it's going to be a bad, bad day for everybody. But, uh, eh. Right now I figure if they're breaking into the administration office, it's a bad, bad day for everybody anyway. Now these guards are going to put a suppression effect on prisoners, and it's going to keep them quiet. and they will be a lot less troublesome, at least in the short term. It's as if they were being punished without actually having to punish them. Now I haven't replaced my dead janitor because basically I have all the prisoners to do the work now, so I don't need to help replace him. Um, <clears throat> I only need two janitors to satisfy the requirement of the grant. Tyson's going a bit bug bug, bug crazy in here. <laughs> oh, somebody's screaming. Yeah, get him out of the canteen. Right, the armory will finish soon, and then I'm going to put that in over here. Um, then we'll actually assign the two armed patrols. As you can see, one of my dog handlers is actually taking a break over here. Hence, I usually find it good to have a spare dog, just because it's uh, u quite useful that way. Also, I mean, I find dog handlers to be highly effective, more so than the arm guards. The arm guards are very good at killing people, but, um, and are pretty damn good at sh shutting down riots and suppressing people, but their suppression effect is so strong, it actually uh, affects your reform pr programs. Um, right, so what we're doing here is getting our uh, armory up and going, so, okay. As you can see, the armory has to be indoors, it needs a weapon rack, guard locker, table, uh, so we'll just take this room here, assign it to be an armory, and then we go into objects, and I want to put in a, well, I'm going to need a table. Now that can fit against that one wall there, and I need a guard locker. 
Actually, I need two guard lockers because of what I want. And we need the uh, special armory table here, which is uh, the weapon rack. There we go. As you can see, this is just big enough for what I need. Alright, so let's hire this armed guards. So, I need armed guard. One, two. They have shotguns. They are uh, interesting people. And then, they give us a new button called Free Fire. Basically, it means weapons free. Um, <laughs> that means the guards can use their own discretion as to when they will be shooting people. Um, it is worth noting that if they are attacked and feel their lives are in danger, they will still shoot people. But, uh, generally, they will not shoot people unless they have a free fire mode. Now, I need to deploy them. Again, just like with the other guards, they just go on to roots. So, like, I'm going to stick one on here. And uh, my other arm guard, where do I want him? Well, I'm thinking I will put him in... here. He could be in the yard. So if I want arm patrol, I just like go arm patrol. As you can see, it got a shotgun effect there. And then these guys will go out to their patrols. And again, they'll need breaks. Um, if you don't have any extras, they're gonna. There's gonna be periods of time when their patrols aren't covered. But it's not a huge deal in when it comes to those, in my opinion. Um, but again, this is my opinion. Do it the way you want to. Now, maximum security infrastructure implementation. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor. Unlock tasers. Build a CCTV monitor. And place cameras throughout the prison. So, why not? Let's go full on. So, we're going to need a few things. Uh, first off, we need to go to 20 guards from the 10 that we have. Easy enough done. We're going to need to unlock some items through bureaucracy as well. We're going to need CCTV. We're going to need tasers. We're going to need body armor. And I'm also going to need to be able to assign spaces for things. So, <clears throat> uh, staff wise, hiring 10 guards is simple enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Lots of new security staff. As you can see, we're losing money like crazy. That's because I don't really have enough prisoners to su support this kind of overhead. But, <laughs> you know, we're being a bit crazy about it. It doesn't matter. Mm. This is for education, not for profitability. So, this is going to be my little CCTV room right here. And... The simplest way to do that is to actually to assign a security room, first off. So one of these is security. Yeah, here it is. I need the CCTV once it's unlocked. I can put that in. Uh, has to be... Well, they like all kinds of things, but it's 4x4, four four, office desk, chair, filing cabinet. Now, again, you may note this is not a 4x4 four four room, which is annoying. But I'm hoping I can stretch it into the wall. If I cannot, then I can always put one up over here. Now you may notice that the prisoners are now very quiet. They are suppressed like crazy. 
They're not acting up. They're not doing bad things. This guy is literally pissing himself and not complaining. That's because they are afraid of the vast quantity of guards that are now swarming around my prison. But suppressed prisoners are poor learning prisoners, which is annoying. Um, they will be very poor, poor at learning new skills. They'll be very poor at passing programs. Um, it really does hamper your education efforts to overly suppress prisoners. And armed guards really do kind of have that effect on them. Another risk with the armed guard is that if they were to overwhelm the armed guard, prisoners suddenly have a shotgun. Uh, and that is as bad as that sounds. So, <laughs> sometimes worth avoiding. Right, we just unlocked, I think, the CCTV, so we can go and assign that room. Take the security room, and we go, hey... Now, I'm hoping the stretch works. If it doesn't work... I can try doing that. Um, I'm going to need an office desk, chair, and a filing cabinet, but also I'm going to need a CCTV monitor. Um, there we are. The thing I like to do with the CCTV monitors is to kind of double them up. Because you can get one guard to, to service both of them. And uh, deployment wise, you can sit uh, a guard patrol, like right here in the middle between them, and assign a guard to it, right? So that, that patrol is watched. Now, these monitors are going to need power. You can see a bunch of guards have milling about in the security room. That's because of went during off time, but not resting. They'll sit around the security room. Yeah, this room is inadequate size, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> what I can do is kind of expand the place, so... Throw up some brick wall there. Knock down that bit of brick wall there. Not really an elegant solution, but it'll do. still need to fit in the random objects that they don't actually use into the room, so I'm going to put a filing cabinet in, and a squeeze a desk in over here, and the chair can just go over here in a corner. I mean, it's not pretty, but they're not actually using these objects anyway. Um, <clears throat> now, we're going to need some CCTV cameras, and... <clears throat> Now it's been unlocked. Each of these monitoring stations will operate three cameras. So I can have six cameras currently. One good place to probably have a camera would be to watch the prisoners in here. Now a thing to do is to keep in mind that the, this has a front and a back, okay? And it's not very easy to determine which is the front and the back. So uh, basically place your camera unless you're very certain which way you're looking. Place your camera and have 
the construction crew come on out and go and sort that out for you. And we'll have a look and see what it looks like. And there we go, that was the correct way, so now it's facing into the cell. <clears throat> I wanted to put one off of my workshop, I think. Now, actually, cameras will look through walls. <laughs> so if I put one in the cleaning cupboard here, I should be able to search the workshop as well. Um, it's a little funky that way, because, uh, like, uh, what, they got x-ray vision? Body armor is about to be unlocked, and once body armor is unlocked, we're going to be seeing a lot of money expended because guards are all going to go to the armory and pick up a suit of body armor, <clears throat> which will slow them down but improve their health. They'll be a lot less, or a lot more resistant to being killed. There we are. And as you can see, they all now wear body armor. Hey, if I was a guard in a prison, I'd want to wear body armor too. And you can see my camera is covering the workshop, so that's working just fine. Now, it says cameras throughout the prison, so uh, I need, basically, to place six cameras. I'm thinking I will place one in the laundry, because I do want to make sure that this equipment is watched. Hopefully I'm putting these down right. Security cameras no longer need a, their own individual power connections, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, see this one's backwards. So I'm going to have that one just, uh, taken down. I mean, it's not terrible the way it's running, and the same goes for that one. But uh, it's not the way I want them. There we go, that's mounted the correct way now. Alright, we need one more camera, which I'm going to stick here in the common room, actually. I do find it useful to get in quite close to make sure you're looking at the camera the right way. <coughs> and we have, uh, we're about to unlock tasers. That's my camera's counted, so it's happy. And this guard is basically doing his patrol sitting here in front of the cameras, which is great. Um, now, once tasers is unlocked, the armed guards will then have tasers. Right. And they'll come and pick up their tasers off the, off the armory. There he is. And now he has this little bumblebee stuck, strapped to his leg. So, he will use that as a first choice when having to subdue prisoners. Right, so that completes that grant. And I don't think there's any more security grants to get at the moment. Um, but what we can cover while we're in this is, right, taser rollout means that you give all your guards tasers. It's expensive, but well worthwhile in my opinion. Contraband gives you a report on the contraband inside the prison. Tells you where pr contraband's been found, what contraband has been found, 
uh, where is, is contraband likely to be coming from, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a very quiet prisoner or prison with all these guards and punishments and they are suppressed all to heck. They are not going to act up because oddly enough they don't want their heads blown off. Now the CCTV equipment did use some power but no, nowhere near as much power as like the laundry equipment or the workshop equipment did. So we've been fine with what I have done here so far. I see the dog is tired. Oh, he'll need a break soon. And so we swap in here, and the extra dog handler will go on out with their dog and swap over, basically. Maybe move him out of the door, huh? <laughs> so, essentially that's it. I mean, when taser rolls, rollout happens, I'm going to be spending an awful lot of money because every guard will go and pick up a taser from the armory and that means each guard gets equipped with a taser which I have to pay for. Um, <clears throat> currently I don't think we're still manufacturing anything. Uh, jobs, yes, yeah, two qualified prisoners here so yeah we're barely manufacturing anything um, but that's it, essentially. Um, things to keep in mind. Your prisoners who are suppressed all to hell don't learn much. Um, we'll wait for a classroom to open up again, I'll show you. once they're done eating. It's so quiet. See, they have suppression effects on them because they're like near armed guards and near other guards. But, you know, maybe they shouldn't have murdered a, a janitor, you know? Maybe they should have just behaved. Things were going just fine. Well, the classroom's opening up, so... Teacher has arrived. I think we'll be opening up class very shortly. Yep, here we are. Reform program sessions is costing me seven hundred bucks. Now, as you can see, his uh, his concentration is terrible, but his understanding is good. Um, <clears throat> concentration bad, understanding good. Concentration terrible. Concentration terrible. Concentration adequate. Understanding excellent. He's the only one who's probably going to pass this course eventually. But everybody's pass rates are suck. Um, there's definitely a correlation, in my opinion, between suppression effects and the ability to concentrate. And the better they're able to concentrate, the better they're able to make the most of their classroom time. You probably are surprised to hear that. If you pay attention in class, you'll do better. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So having armed guards everywhere and uh, crushing their morale will hamper your reform efforts. And as you can see, this is not a particularly exciting prison right now. 
Um, but I am losing money hand over fist, so it's uh, not good that way. Um, all these guards should be in a much larger prison. I should have at least twice as many prisoners than I have. And, uh, yeah. I'm, the only reason I don't have more prisoners is because I haven't allowed for the influx of prisoners. Because, honestly, I'm asking for trouble because I have no cells whatsoever. And I would highly advise that you move on from the holding cell as quickly as possible to house prisoners in individual cells. This is, I've only done this this way for demonstration purposes. So... Uh, I hope you found the how-to series very useful. If you have any questions, please leave them for me, and uh, hey, I might make another video to cover things in the future, or I'll just simply respond. But um, it, I'll hope to try to keep doing updates on the series as well as the game changes. Uh, this is based on Alpha 22, of course, which is from July of 2014. Um... <clears throat> And it may be well in the future when you're ch checking out this video, and things may have changed. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and I do appreciate your support, and I hope you have a great day, folks. Goodbye.